On this episode of Mudhole TV, Big Show Terry Scroggins puts the Mudhole team on their craziest catch yet. Taking no chances, the team builds arguably two of the toughest fishing rods ever made. That's no Big Show put the big hooks in. Led by the legendary big game hunters of God's Country Outfitters, the team is tested like never before. Are custom built fishing rods from CRB enough to battle one of the wild's oldest and most ruthless predators? There we go. Get him up. <laughs> yes, sir. We here. All right, guys, we are out here today with the Mud Hole crew, and we got none other <laughs> than the Big Show here with us. And we got RT, and we're out on some private property, and we're doing a little gator hunting. Is that right? You know, that's exactly right. <laughs> I have made over 250 bass rods. Yep. First time ever making a gator rod. Now, I've come out here with RT, God Country's Outfitters, before. It's pretty much guaranteed you're going to get a gator when you're with this guy right here. Sure. And Mr. Wade behind me right here. They know what they're doing. Absolutely. But we have built this rod just to see how tough a CRB blank can be. Absolutely. So this so, is the gator glass. Yes. And it is the T70H. And it is pretty much, I mean, it's the hammer. We got 500 pound braid on this jewel, a big old gigantic spinner reel, a big hook. All we need to do is see a gator come off the bank, track down the bubbles, and put a hook in him and just see how tough this blank's gonna be. Absolutely, I mean, I know we hadn't even made it around the first corner and our man Wade was like, we need to ease out there. You can see this bubble trail working and uh, we're gonna see if he comes up. If he does, shame on him. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> cool, well, let's get at it. Uh, Big show, let's show us the way. All right, let's get her done. See that one on that point? Yeah. He come off the left side. Didn't yeah, he? he went like that. That's wild, you see one that big and he just. Man, it's just. It's down. Is that bubbles in that cove next to that lay down? Oh, yeah. Hey, we saw two real quick right there. Let's keep on going and find us another. Bang, bang. Chris, you see them bubbles right there? Absolutely. Woo. That's what we hunt right there. So we'll hammer right there. Looks like he's coming at us. Right? So, right it's like eight foot deep. Oh, he's right there. Yeah. No doubt. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Golly, he's throwing a wake. You see him throwing that wake? Yeah, he was traveling. He's still going out there. <laughs> this is where we get him, right? Now, when y'all feel him, y'all stick him like, I mean, stick yeah. him? Yeah, uh, hang on. Now, will he try and kick off as soon as he feels it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, when, he, when they hook him, he'll beat that boat over in about a second. Look here. 20, 20 foot straight out from him. You think that's him right there? Yeah. That's pretty. There he is. There he is. Get him, boy. <laughs> All right. Hang on to him, Hammer. Test that rod out and see what we got. Yeah, huh? right. Get him, boy. <laughs> see what that T78 will do. We got a bus, boys. We got a bus. Hang on, Hammer. I'm coming in there with you. I got you, baby. Things out in front. Pretty much straight up and down right here. Because right. I feel I can feel him pretty vertical. Yeah. Oh, Atta boy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Atta boy. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> See what these rods are made out of, boy. <laughs> yep. Yes, sir. Back him up. Back him up. Whoo! No hammer right here, boy. <laughs> God, boy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> 500 pound braid with a drag lock down. That's Just it. Just you and him. That's it. 
<laughs> Woo! Man! Just... We're coming on up in here, boy. See what we got. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Hey, Terry, go over me, bud. All right. Go over me. So we're not wrapped. Here we go. There he is. Yes, sir. Get some uh -huh. meat, boys. Get some mm -hmm. meat, son. I'm off. Oh, you see how you do me, boy. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You big show. Mm -hmm. Rig up and put it back down there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mighty boy. Y'all gonna re-ring? Yeah, we're re-ring. This a hammer right here. Yeah. We got him fired up. Yeah, we got him fired up, <laughs> I would say so. Looks like the old T-78's making it work. Making it work, That'll and making work. me work is what it's doing. There you go. Mm. Might have to back him off. Yeah. yeah. You're not gonna loosen that drag, are you, Big Show? Yes, Come sir. On. That T-70's stronger than I am, boy. Mm. I know it. There we go. Whoa. Get him, boy. Whoa, <laughs> yes, sir. See what it's made of, man. Mm hmm. We're coming on now, boy. Get him, boy. Yes, sir. He's all ours now. Woo. Mm hmm. Hold that off All right. Here we go. <laughs> you don't like that. Ain't like it. Yes, sir. Chad, it's like a man now. Alright, here we go. Uh huh. Oh, he's oh, he chomping that damn boat. He's locked on. You mad, ain't you, Henry? Under a lot. No, he's, he's wearing stuff on. He done took your light out. You know, there he goes. I didn't know I was going to the gym today. Oh, sir. Set. Set the hook, hammer. There we go. I feel like that was meat that time. <clears throat> uh huh. Game over now. We got a rodeo man in the boat. That's it. Yes, yeah, sir. Dog. Yes, sir. Watch him, boys. <laughs> hey. All right, hammer. I'm gonna do that for the pen. You lie. Let me sink him. He's going to go underwater. Hang on, man. Hang on. I'm going to sink him now. Yep. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Now then. My man. My man. There you go. Hey, all I can say, God's country outfitters done did it again, boy. Done, done it. We've been out here for two hours. Bam. Bam. Yes, sir. I love it. Come on with it, boy. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Now then. Time to go to the Waffle House, boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, Big Show, we did it. <laughs> Dude, you built these CRB T70H rods. That is awesome. This one here I've got in my hand, 500 pound braid. We had to drag lock down. Man, this, this skater right here is all I wanted to deal with. It was about to pull me out of the boat. Along with you, we both had it hooked up together. No doubt. So these are a seven footer. It's a 20 to 40 out of the Gator Glass series. And I tell you what, it wasn't designed to catch a gator, <laughs> but boy, it did it. With no problem. With no problem. No problem. I thought it was incredible because we put them together and then we both got on the hooks and we put her in the boat. That's a good gator. It's like a nine foot gator. Yep. And I've been with RT at Guys Country Outfitters a bunch. So we've caught some 12 footers. You know, you never know what, you're always gonna get you a good gator when you go with him. I couldn't even imagine. These rods, I, I think they'll handle like a 15 or 16 foot gator, which I don't think they exist. You know, state <laughs> record's like 14 feet, but sure. it don't matter. I think these rods will handle it. Absolutely, I've got no doubt. I mean, the components that we put together, uh, the team that RT's got at God's Country Outfitters, I mean, it is 
first class from when we showed up to when we left. We're back at the lodge now, and I couldn't ask for anything more. I'm impressed. They make it easy. I'm just saying, if you want to kill a gator, guys, country outfitters, that's who you need to call. That's just as simple as that. That's the way to do it. You need one of these CRB T70Hs. Absolutely, out of the CRB gator glass. I'm telling you, I, I think we did it, and I couldn't have had a better time. That's a good time. Cool. All right, guys. Well, we always talking about catching a fish on a rod you built. Well, how about catching and killing a gator on a rod you built? Guys, run over to mudhole.com, check out the CRV Gator Glass Series, and don't forget to check out RT and the boys at God's Country Outfitters. What do you think? You ready to go? I'm ready to go. Let's go have some gator.